hi everyone welcome back so um like i said earlier i'll be showing you guys on how you can make your whitening body lotion okay so here are my ingredients okay so i've already laid down my ingredients on my washing table okay so um this is the bowl i'm going to use in this recipe so i've already cleaned off my bowl with my rubbing alcohol here with and um, also with a uh, a tissue so i've already cleaned it up so what we do now is um i have to um incorporate all the ingredients into this bowl then i'll have to um melt it okay so first of all i'll be making use of my e worse because we'll be making it from scratch okay so um we'll be making use of our e worse so this is my e worse okay so this is my e worse so um before then let me just run through the ingredients i'll be using in this recipe okay so um these are all the powders i'll be using in this recipe so let me just run through them and tell you the benefit of each of the powders and why i'm using it in this recipe okay so um remember we're making a whitening body lotion okay so uh, i am using um collagen in this recipe so the reason why i'm using collagen because collagen is an anti irritation um agent okay so i'll be using it in this recipe so collagen is very important when you're making a whitening or lighting body lotion just to prevent any um form of irritation that will occur okay so that's the reason why i'm using collagen powder in this recipe so um, the reason why i'm using this um kojic acid diplomatate instead of kojic acid is because this is um this um kojic acid dip uh, dip is very very good when it comes to its stability okay so that's the reason why i'm using it instead of um kojic acid okay so kojic acid is also good okay both of them are um lighting um lighting powders okay but the reason why i'm using it in this recipe because um kojic um acid dip has it has stability okay it has stability it doesn't um it doesn't um lose its stability when it comes to any difficult condition okay so that's the reason why i am using it in this recipe okay the reason why i'm also using this um giga white powder is because giga white powder is also a lighting um powder that will help in lighting up your skin remember we're making a whitening lotion so that's why i'm using it as well in this my recipe okay. so guys um i'll also be using a uh, snow white powder okay so the reason why i'm using it is also a whitening powder okay can help in whitening up your skin okay lighten up your skin so that's the reason why i'm also using it in this uh, recipe okay so i'm also going to be using our alaton powder okay so this is my alaton powder so i'll be making use of our alaton powder because alaton powder is an anti uh, irritant um powder okay it will help in um maybe for instance if there is anything that um any um any form of reaction okay it will help in preventing it okay something like of uh, ratchets and the rest of it so it will help in prevent any form of uh, irritation that this lotion might cause to your body so that's why i'm using this uh alanton powder in this uh, recipe this um collagen powder is also a it's also anti-stretch mark um powder okay it will help in uh, fading off stretch mark okay and also what um if you're using this lotion that we're about to make when when you add this um alaton powder into your formulation it will help to prevent any form of um stretch mark this lotion will cause okay remember um when you're making a lighting body lotion or whitening body lotion it tends to cause a stretch mark okay because you you're going beyond the shade um your your skin shade complexion okay so it's it tends to cause in a, any form of um 
reaction to your skin so with this powder it will prevent any form of reaction like stretch mark okay so that's the reason why i'm using this powder in this my recipe so not guys when you're making any lotion that's whitening body lotion ensure you're adding all this powder into it because anything lighting can intend to cause either re, uh, re reaction to your skin or it will cause um, stretch mark or it will cause green veins and the rest of it so with this powder it will help in um, take it off or prevent it okay so that's why I am using this in my lotion so guys let's continue so guys what you should do is this when you want to make your formulation always write it out okay always have a jota or a book where you write it out so this lotion we're about to make is um the size is um 250 gram okay so that's what we want to make right now so i'll be measuring out my um my ingredients okay so but nevertheless i'll be dropping the measurement and also the ingredient on the description box so you can as well check it out okay so but i'll be measuring it out for you guys to see okay i said is my e was okay so because we're making it from scratch so i'll be making i'll be making um use of um 10 gram of my e was okay so i'll be making use of 10 gram of my e was okay So that's 10 grand of my e was okay? So guys, um, next on my list is my CD alcohol, okay? So I'll be measuring 7.5 gram, okay? So now it's zero, zero, so I'll be measuring 7.5 gram. Okay, so now it's 7.5 gram. Okay, so that's it. So I'll be adding it into my recipe. Okay, so next right now is my next right now is my um oil. So I'll be adding my oil, which is my sweet almond oil in this recipe. Okay, so I'll be adding um. So this is my sweet almond oil okay so so sorry guys it's still sealed so i have to um open it okay <laughs> so um sorry guys i'll be making use of my spoon because i will want to make mistake have to use my rubbing alcohol on it so I just have to use my rubbing alcohol on it before I make use of it so that's what I just did right now so um I'm making use of this spoon because I don't want to go beyond my measurement okay so I just need to be careful so that I won't go beyond so I'll be using um 20 20 gram of my um oil okay 20 gram of my oil okay so
okay so it's up to 20 grand of my oil okay so so right now i'm going to heat it up okay so um i have to heat it up and um i'll come and do my water face okay guys so just keep watching and please do not skip this video watch the vi this video to the end so that you get every details of what i'm doing here right now okay guys so um i'll be making use of this bowl because i'll have to boil water and come pour it in this bowl so that i can be able to place this in my hot water okay so that's the way i want to do it today okay so i won't be placing it direct on my gas cooker so i want to just do this method so that you guys can see every bit of what i'm doing in this video okay guys so guys um this is the one i just finished okay so it's here i'm waiting for my water to boil okay why i um do the water face okay so um I'll be adding all the ingredients into the water I'll be using, okay? So, this is my distilled water, okay? So, guys, please, when you're making any formulation, ensure you're using distilled water, okay? Do not use your tap water. Do not use tap water. Use your distilled water, okay? So, um, this is how distilled water is, okay? So, for those of you that will be asking okay so as you can see it's written boldly on it pure um distilled water okay so use your distilled water when you're making any formulation like this okay so that's what is in this that's what is in this um cup okay so, um sorry <laughs> this measuring cup here yeah, is a cup so guys i'm measuring out my alan toy powder okay so that's what i'm doing right now okay so trying to measure five grand of my alan tonic powder so that's five grand so i have to add it in this cup okay so this is the cup i'll be using so so this is my alan toy powder sorry guys so i'm making use of this because i don't want to, <laughs> if i'm placing this on top it should be reading wrongly so that's why i'm using this as well okay because i'm still waiting for my for my um my other scale to arrive because i ordered it so but it's still wasting time to, to to be delivered to me so that's why i'm making use of this okay so next on my list guys is my next on my list is my snow white powder okay so this is my snow white powder so this is my snow white powder so I've been measuring it out, okay, so okay, so I'm making use of um of twelve point five gram of my snow white powder, okay, so let me measure it out twelve point five okay. Appleton powder okay so I'll be making use of it so
I'll be making use of 5 grams. So I'll be adding it into this as well. So next on my list right now is my Giga White Powder. So this is my Giga White Powder. So I'm making use of um 12.5 gram of my Giga White Powder. 12.5 gram. So th that's my 12.5 gram of my Giga White Powder, okay? So, so next I'll be adding it into the same cup because it's water soluble, okay? So I'll be adding it. In. So guys, next on my list right now is my collagen powder, okay? So this is my collagen powder, okay? So I'm making use of um, five grand of my collagen powder, okay? So I'm making use of five grand. So guys, this is the 5 gram of my collagen powder, okay? So I'll be adding it into, into the soap. So next now is my, my Kojic dip, which is 2% of my Kojic dip. That's 5 gram. So, so guys, um, this is my um, Kojic Deep, okay? This is my Kojic Deep because Kojic Deep is um, oil soluble, so I'll be using oil to dissolve it while my powders are into in in here, okay? So I'll be using water to dissolve them, okay? So um, I want to measure out my water, okay? So um, so I'll be measuring out um. 55% of my water, okay? So that's what I'll be doing right now, okay? So because you need to be careful when you're measuring all these ingredients, okay? So <laughs> that's, um, that's it, okay? So this is my water, okay? So um, this is what I'll be using to... Um, to formulate okay so this is my water right here so i'll be adding all my powders into it okay for it to dissolve properly placing it on my double boiler for it to to heat up a little so that it can be able to dissolve properly okay so guys this is my kojic dip so i'll be using my griseline to dissolve it okay so i'll be making use of um my griseline which is um 
five gram of my grisselin to dissolve it okay so okay so i'll be using five gram so that's for it okay so that's five gram of my grisselin so i'll be using it to dissolve it okay So, this is my koji dip. So, I'm using my griseline to dissolve it. Okay, so which I'll be adding into. recipe as well so i'll be dropping it to one side okay so right now i'll be adding oh yes but not now so right now i'll be dissolving okay so then i have to place this here for it to melt. okay so i'll be using this this method okay so just keep watching guys so and let's allow it to melt down okay so okay so let's allow it to melt down okay so same thing goes today so i'll be placing this as well in uh, hot water for it to make for it to dissolve properly okay so that's what i'll be doing okay I know here is kind of crowded so but i just need you guys to follow up okay so here also i'll be putting this here for it to also melt down okay so um once it's it's melt okay i'll bring you guys back so just keep watching guys so guys um welcome back so this is mine this is it okay so right now it's fully melted okay so i'll be removing it from this hot water okay so um this is it okay so so these are water phase that's fully dissolved and so with our oil but right now is a little bit hot okay so i'll be allowing it to cool down a little bit before mixing it together okay so that's what we'll be doing okay so so right now i'm good to go so i have to mix both of them together okay so that's what i'll be doing so i'll be adding my water into my ewers okay so that's what I'll be doing. So we'll just keep watching, guys. So at this point i'll make use of my hand blender so that can be blended properly sorry guys so I'm making use of my hand blender so this is my hand blender so i'm making use of it
is still there so i'll be giving it some time for it to um to cool down because the more the temperature drop okay the more it gets solidified okay so do not mind the bubbles that is coming out from it okay do not mind that okay so just have to do it this way so the bubble will go up so we'll have to wait for it to solidify okay so once the temperature drops because right now it's still very hot so once the temperature is dropping the lotion will start forming okay so let's wait for it to drop okay guys then i'll bring you guys back again okay so guys um we're back so this is my lotion okay so as you can see that's solid five okay so this is my lotion so but i have to whip it again i have to stick blend it one more time okay so happen is i'll be adding the rest ingredient into it my oils okay because oils are added um this oils that i'm using in this recipe i'll be adding it as in the cool down phase okay so that's what i'll be doing okay so i'll be adding my oils right now okay so because already our lotion has already the temperature has already dropped okay so that's what i'll be doing okay so practically this is how you make your your base okay so then, let's say this is my base right now okay so my base okay so right now i'll be adding the rest ingredient into it so this is it okay so it has already formed so as you can see so i'll be adding the rest ingredients into it then i'll have to stick blend it again before we finish this recipe okay so right now this is my my kojic dip you guys know my kojic dip okay so i'll be adding it in this recipe okay so so i'll be adding it into this lotion okay so this is my koju dip i just added it into this lotion as well so i'm measuring out my oils okay guys so um first of all i'm measuring my carrot seed oil okay so i'll be making use of my carrot seed oil so guys this um carrot seed oil i'm the one that make it myself so i'm measuring 7.5 gram okay Okay, so that's my oil okay so next on my list right now sorry guys <laughs> messed up this place so next on my list right now is my next on my list right now is my vitamin e oil okay so i'm measuring out my vitamin e oil which is um five gram of my vitamin e oil which is on um, two percent okay so that's my vitamin e oil okay so um next right now is my lactic 
acid okay so i'll be using um one percent of my lactic acid as well which is um 2.5 gram okay so that's it so right now i'm making use of my of my lavender oil okay so um my lavender oil i'll be adding few drops 10 drops of my lavender oil into it drop of my lavender oil so first of all I'll be adding all those ones into it okay so so I'll be adding my lavender oil thin drop <laughs> sorry guys that's three drop Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that's ten drop of my lavender oil, which is um one percent. Okay, so um, what else again? Haven't I add into it? Okay, I'll be adding my German plus, which is my preservative. First of all, I'll be adding our uh, propylene glycol. Okay, so I'll be adding my German plot and also my propylene glycol and my fragrance okay so this is the fragrance i'll be using and also my rose hip oil so these are the ones remaining that i'll be adding into this recipe okay so first of all i'll be adding my propylene glycol So I'll be adding my propylene glycol, which is um one percent. Okay, that's two gram. Sorry guys, that's my propylene glycol. Okay. So what else? I'll be adding my rose hip oil. Okay, my rose hip oil. Okay, so I'll be making use of um one percent of my rose hip oil. So that's it. Okay. So that's one percent of my rose hip oil. Okay. So next right now is my fragrance, which I'll be adding ten drop of my fragrance. Okay. Ten drop. So next right now is my preservative okay so my preservative I'll be adding 0.5% okay of my preservative so 0.5% of my preservative okay so I'm making use of this one So I'll be making use of this spoon. This okay. Okay. 
so two of the spoon so that's it okay so so guys i've added every other ingredient into it okay so this is it so right now i have to mix together okay then stick blend it you guys know the color why the color is like this because of the the carrot seed oil that i added into it okay that's <laughs> that's why the color has changed into this yellowish color okay so but it doesn't matter anyway the most important thing that that this cream is going to lighten up my skin so that's the most important thing okay so the color doesn't matter okay so right now i'm going to stick <laughs> um i'm done okay so um sorry my voice is um low because it's late here in the night okay so i have to lower my voice so um these are lotion okay so i don't know if you can see properly see how thick it is okay so right now i'm not really done because i'll be taking the ph level of this lotion before i can bottle it okay so that's what i'll be doing so guys right now i want to take the ph level of this lotion this lotion is super good guys wow i love the fragrance of this lotion <laughs> so i'll be taking the ph of this lotion to know if it's very safe to use on the skin okay so this is what i'll be using i know you guys know what this is called okay so this is what i'll be using okay so i'll be using making use of my distilled water okay so this is my distilled water okay so sorry guys my voice is down that's because it's late here this is 3 a.m in the morning so i'm still up doing this yeah anything for you guys so um this is my distilled water okay so i'll be using my distilled water to clean up clean it up before i use it okay so so this is how you check for weight okay so so it's on already so okay so So right now is um on zero zero. I don't know if you guys can see it properly. Sorry. Okay, so okay, let me place it this way. So it's reading zero zero. Okay, so right now let's try it on our lotion. Okay, so So guys, um, this is the pH level, which is um, two point um, forty three. Okay, that's the pH level. Okay. So, so guys, um, this is my lotion. Okay, so this is it. Okay, so this is the the solution I use in raising the pH level. Okay, so I use um sodium hydroxide okay this is what i use in raising the ph level 
of this lotion okay so like i said earlier so um right now i'm going to be taking the ph of it again to know if it's balanced right now okay so that's what i'll be doing so let's check it together wow Good. Wow, wow 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 guys look at it okay it's balanced right now 4.7 okay so my lotion is balanced wow thank you <laughs> oh guys this is where the work is you need to check and check till you balance your lotion okay so right now my lotion is fully balanced okay as you can see okay okay 4.7 okay so right now my lotion is fully balanced okay so next lotion is balanced as you can see okay so right now what i will be doing is to put it into this container because this is the container i'll be using so um guys in my next video guys i'll be showing you on how you can um dissolve your sodium hydroxide okay how you can dissolve it in water okay that's um, in distilled water so in my next video i'll be showing you on how you can um, raise your ph level and also how you can um bring down the ph level of any um any product you're making okay so i'll be showing you that i'll be showing you on how you can dissolve it so this is the one that is remaining after dissolving my sodium hydroxide so one thing you should know about the sodium hydroxide hydroxide is is very dangerous okay it's very dangerous so when working with sodium hydroxide you need to put on your hand glove okay i have to do something so i have to remove the other hand because i was trying to rinse my um my ph tester okay that was why i removed the other glove so when working with it you need your hand glove your goggle um safety goggle and um a long because you can as you can see i wasn't putting on this before so i have to go and put on a long jacket that can cover my hand so that the split of it will not touch my skin okay so that was why that's why i put on this jacket so in my next video i'll be showing you guys okay but right now this lotion is fully balanced as you can see in the video is a 4.7 okay so right now i'll be pouring it into this container so guys um if you enjoyed this video and this video was helpful please give this video a whole thumbs up and also do not forget please to subscribe share and like my video i guess i'll see you all in my next video so remain blessed bye